Perhaps the most elaborate nest camera in Wales is that set up by the RSPB at the Porth Maddock Osprey Nest. There are so many cameras there now, I'm sure the Ospreys feel as if they're on Big Brother. But it does give you a fantastic view of the nest and the birds. A couple of weeks ago, I went up to meet RSPB Cymru's Emir Evans to find out how the whole thing works. Emir, how you doing? Hi, Owen. Now, as the Glasslyn Osprey project of Emir, you must be delighted that the pair's back again this year. We're all very excited again this year. It's six months of, of, of waiting, you know, and uh, the birds have come back even earlier than last year. And as we stand here now, uh, the female's sitting on three eggs. Well, that is brilliant news. For the two other ones in the nest and on feeding trees in the Glasslyn Valley uh, and see more behaviours for the first time. So you can go right in, Emmett. Well, that's the main difference uh, th this year, Yola. We can see behaviours that we've not seen before, you know. And looking at this bird now, you can see that nictitating membrane that she has as a second eyelid, if you like, and, and all that water on, on her back. You can see everything. Amazing, isn't it? Can you flick from one camera to another one, then? Yeah, that's the whole idea, basically. So depending where the ospreys are at any particular time, we can zoom around the, the valley and look, and look for them, basically. The male's in. And here comes the male. Oh, wow. And he's got a fish as well. That. See the fish? Yeah, well, the good thing you were talking about the cameras before, we can actually zoom in this year and I'll actually see, see that the, the, the blood and the guts is not very nice, I know, <laughs> but, uh, of the fish. And you can see her trying to take the fish off the trout male. Trout, that is, is it? It's, that's a trout. Yeah. So, uh, oh, three and then, eggs. And there you, see, there you see the three eggs. Oh, wow, look at that. You can see a ring on him as well, there, there Em. He's got a ring on his, on his left leg. That's right. Well, oh. the good thing this, this year is that when now male bird came back, and it's the same birds that come back every year. There was a, a little bit of a problem because we weren't sure whether it was our male or not, because our male has two rings, a, a BTO ring, uh, like it's small metal rings here, yeah. uh, and an ID, an identification, a Derby ring like these. OK. When our male bird came back this year, he was missing this ring. So we weren't sure whether it was him or not. Behaviorally, he looked the same. Uh, and uh, this head plumage pattern looked the same, but he didn't have a ring. So we zoomed in on the BTO ring with the, with the cameras and confirmed it, it, it is, in fact, our bird. And he's obviously lost this ring somewhere in the winter months in Africa. And having all of these must help to protect the birds as well, I and mean, just in case anybody did want to do any harm. Absolutely. It's, uh, it, it red flags a lot of things up for us. So anybody that's walking that they shouldn't be there or any, anybody suspicious, we know straight away and we can inform the local police or, or send somebody up then. You know, we've got one pair of osprey in Wales. It's a, a pioneering pair, if you like. So we do our best to protect these birds in the hope we have a success story like what happened in Scotland 50 years ago, and they now have 200 pairs. You know, you'll come and see me again, hopefully, in a couple of years' time. We'll have two nests, three, four, five, who knows? But uh, that's the hope. That would be brilliant, Emma. That really would be brilliant. And the latest news from Emir is that he's expecting these eggs to hatch any minute now.